Okay, back here in California and just dug out an old bread machine and just using some standard all-purpose flour. Just gonna see how well it runs. Uh, don't know how old this one is. I think it's about like 20 years old. So far it seems to be running fine. Spin you around to take a look. Okay, so this is a well-built. And this is through the first kneading. I'm using a French bread recipe because that's all the ingredients I had. The white bread recipe uh, that's like first in the manual uh, asks for like dry skim milk and I don't have that now. So I'm just using this one. So uh, we'll see how well this machine works. Again, just uh, standard uh, uh, Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour. So I'm just gonna scrape down. Yeah, so it's just uh, two cups of flour, one cup of water plus well, one tablespoon of water, uh, one and a half teaspoons of active or instant dry yeast, and then a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. So yeah, uh, should be interesting. I'm just anxious to see how it turns out. I haven't used a bread machine in probably about 20 years. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Again, yeah. So this is the first kneading. It's got a timer here. It's pretty simple. You can set it for light, medium, dark. It defaults to medium. There's a lid here. I guess you can increase the timer for like the manual. You can do a bunch of settings on manual, I guess. Uh, I haven't used one of these in a long time. This one's the bread maker by Will Belt. Model ABM 351. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's see, we go through a primary kneading, which is 10 minutes. Primary rising, which is 5 minutes. That's not very long. Secondary kneading, 15 minutes. Secondary rising, 20 minutes. Low shaping, 2 seconds. Then final rising, 55 minutes. Baking, 37 minutes. And then cooling off, 60 minutes. see how this goes how it turns out looks like a pretty good rise here I think we're in the secondary rising this might be the final rise hmm. not sure an hour and 12 minutes left so we must be in the final rising Okay, so our bread machine finished. And, uh, you know, it tried its best. It's an older machine. The flour wasn't necessarily that the freshest. Yeast was good, because I just bought that. But let's take a look at it. All right. Uh, you know. It, uh, <sighs> it uh, did its best. mixing arm there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we go. You know, 
not that bad. Not that bad at all. So. It smells good. It tastes fine. Doesn't look amazing, but tastes good. So yeah, I guess it worked. So yeah, 20 year old bread machine. Still got it. So that's the uh, well-built bread machine. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this bread with uh, maybe some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar, and I'll see you in the next one.